Good afternoon. Welcome to Storytime with Ranger Dina. We took a little break. Our last one was Memorial Day weekend when we filmed down at Devoto Memorial Cedar Grove. Today, it is November 20th. November the 20th. We are filming in front of the Brushy Fork Cabin. There'll be some bonus footage about the cabin after we read the story. So, anyway, because it is very chilly out here, Let's get right to our story. I chose for today's story, The Leaf Thief, by Alice Hemming and illustrated by Nicola Slater. So let's jump right in. The Leaf Thief. We have our beautiful cover pages. And here we go. Wonderful time of year. I am snug in my nest with a belly full of hazelnuts and the sun is shining through my leafy canopy. Such lovely colors. Red, gold, orange. Red, gold, orange. Red, gold. Wait a minute. One of my leaves is missing. Where is it? It's not in here. It's not under here. Bird! What is the matter? Someone stole my leaf! Your leaf? Yes, one of my leaves is missing. My leaf looked a lot like that one, the one that Mouse has. That is not your leaf, Squirrel. But how can you be sure? Mouse? Mouse, did you steal my leaf? No, this is my boat. See, Squirrel, it is perfectly normal to lose a leaf or two this time of year, okay? Okay, thanks, Bird. See you tomorrow. The next morning... Oh, no! This is bad! Bird! More leaves have been stolen! Excuse me, Woodpecker, are those my leaves? What is the matter this time? No, they are my leaves, Squirrel. I spent ages collecting them. I think I read that a little out of order, but you understand. No one is taking your leaves, Squirrel. This happened last year, remember? Maybe. Why don't you just go back to your nest and try to relax. Okay, thanks Bird. So what did Bird want Squirrel to do? Go back to his nest and relax. Let's see if it happened. Try to relax, breathe in and out. Just relax. Do you think Squirrel relaxed? I don't either. What happens next? The following morning... This is a disaster! This is a disaster! Bird! Bird! Where are you, bird? I'm here, squirrel. Wait a minute! Are you the leaf thief? No, Squirrel, I am not the Leaf Thief. I will show you the Leaf Thief. Where are they? Because I've got a few things I'd like to say to them. Ooh. 
Look around you. The leaf thief is everywhere. It shakes the trees and rustles the leaves. It even takes your hat. Do you see the leaf thief squirrel? The, the only thief is the wind. This happens every year in autumn. Every year, the leaves change colors and the wind blows them away. They'll grow back again in the spring, but I'm going home. Please don't disturb me again. <laughs> it was just the wind. And that was just a truck. We are very, very close to the highway. So, whoosh, that was our visual sound for the wind. It was just the wind. The leaves change color and the wind blows them away. Of course, no leaf thief at all. Silly me. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. The next morning, bird, someone has stolen the grass. And what does Bird do? <sighs> oh, and did you see? I just noticed Mouse is down there skating. That's adorable. Okay, so that was a very lovely book. And at the back, there's uh, um, some artist comment, or artist, author's comments about the real leaf thief. And I'll just read you a little squidge of it. As Squirrel learned, nobody is really stealing the leaves from the trees. Bird says the only thief is the wind. But there is more to it than that. And, and I'm sure you know this. The wind can only blow the leaves away when the trees have started to shed their leaves. This happens in the autumn when the temperature drops, marking the change from summer to winter. Before the leaves fall, they turn from green to all sorts of different colors. Like, remember Squirrel was saying red, gold, orange, red, gold, orange. He had his pattern there. When they turn brown, the leaves are ready to fall from the tree. Not all trees shed their leaves. Only deciduous trees lose their leaves. Coniferous trees, or trees that have cones, such as evergreens, keep theirs. However, there's a really cool tree that lives in our area called the Western Larch. And it is, it has a cone, it has cones, so it's coniferous. However, in the fall, it turns the most amazing shade of yellow and it drops its needles. So that's the exception to the rule, the Western Larch, and it is beautiful. So, more vehicles. <laughs> So anyway, thank you very much for being here for our first story time of the season. Uh, thank you to my friend Taylor for coming and helping film. She's the first person to ever get to do so. So thank you so much. And um, thank you for sticking with us, story time peeps. See you next time. So here is the promised bonus footage about the Brushy Fort Cabin. The Brushy Fort Cabin is about six and a half miles down the Idaho side of Lolo Pass, Highway 12, near the Crooked Fork Bridge. The main purpose of the Forest Service Cabin was as an overnight place to stay for employees traveling between the Powell Ranger Station and Lolo Hot Springs in the winter months. Imagine making the trek over the pass on skis or snowshoes. No thank you. The cabin is still in fairly good shape, but it's no longer in use. It was built around 1931 by the spelling looks like Heine Williams, who was one of three packers at Powell Ranger District. The other packers were Jack Rose and Homer McLean plus Mansley Brown. So that's the historical information that we could find. If you go to the Montana Historical Society's Facebook page and scroll down, you can find a picture of the Brushy Fort Cabin 
when it was in its prime with about between two and three feet of snow on the roof and it is a cool cool picture so I highly recommend looking it up and thank you to the Montana, Montana Historical Society for the information that we were able to glean about the cabin so there's our bonus historical information.